Hi, I'm Scott Swenson. We're at Lynn's Propane Trucks. We've got another stock truck here for you today. It's a 2021 Freightliner. It's got a Cummings ISL, 300 horsepower, 860 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's loaded inside and out. As you can see, chrome bumper, chrome grill, bright finish heated mirrors. We've got the exterior sun visor, uh, the two air horns up top, aluminum wheels, stainless steps. Inside, it's loaded as well. Uh, we'll get into those features in a moment, but it's got a backup camera, power windows, power locks, uh, power mirrors, uh, heated seat. The truck is just a joy to drive. Then on the back of the truck, stainless steel, uh, stainless steel lower deck, stainless steel oversized meter box. Uh, we'll get into all that in a moment too. Uh, but also you can see up front here, we've got the strobe lights. Uh, we also have one on the back head of the tank. Uh, for those roadside deliveries, no matter what direction oncoming traffic's coming from, they're going to be able to see you. Uh, let's look at a, a few of the options inside the cab a little closer. All right, on the dash here, you can see the wood grain background. It's a really nice feature. It makes it look and stand out very well. Uh, just to the right of the steering column, we have the exhaust brake. Uh, next to that, we have our Allison selector switch right here. Up top we have our uh, cruise control and then next to that is the heated mirrors for the bright finish mirror mirrors. There are also power mirrors uh, with a control on the driver's side door, nice and convenient. Below that we've got the utility lamp. So that's our work lights. We've got two on the lower rear corners of the cab and two on the rear head of the tank, completely illuminating around the truck for those late night deliveries uh, to help your drivers work safely. Next to that's the power windows, and then we've got our beacon switch, which is the strobe lights. Two in the headlight enclosures, one on the rear head of the tank. Uh, rear differential lock, uh, and then our regen switch here for, uh, to regen the exhaust. Down below that is the power locks. Uh, in this truck here, we have an air driver's seat. It's a heated seat, lumbar support, armrests, cloth cover. Really, really nice seat. Very, very comfortable. Uh, this truck also has a three-function remote, PTO, throttle, and e-stop. Uh, so all you need to have is the e-stop. The PTO and the throttle are really nice because your drivers can use it. I uh, haul the hose out to the customer's tank, hook it up, engage the PTO, kick the throttle up as the tank fills kick the throttle down and shut the PTO off, all from the customer's tank. Uh, a couple of things that are nice about that is one, your pump is running a lot less, so it increases your pump life, and two, when your drivers use it, it doesn't live on the dash. When the battery dies, they change it immediately because they use it every single delivery. Uh, you get pulled over with DOT, uh, it's been living on the dash for six months, they test it at 150 feet and it doesn't work, so you get a nice hefty ticket. Uh, so where your drivers are using it all the time, it's always functioning. We've got a backup camera. Uh, so this has the camera on the rear head of the tank. It's tied into the reverse circuit. Put it in reverse, the monitor will come on. Uh, it's really nice. It completely eliminates that blind spot directly behind the truck. We mount it over here so you can use it in conjunction with the mirrors on this side. Uh, because you're backing up, you're using your backup camera, but you're still using your mirrors. Uh, so it's really just a swing from here over to your driver's side mirror. Uh, nice and convenient location for that. Uh, down bottom here, we have a custom printer stand. We built the build the printer stands custom to every single cab. Uh, so this is rock solid. It's not going to be rattling as you're driving down the road. Uh, we also include an aluminum ticket holder here uh, to help keep your drivers organized. We see a lot of different ways that they try to keep themselves organized from stacking them on the dash or wooden boxes in the cab. Uh, but drivers really do like that. It's a nice option. We also have a, a, a little piece here that comes off. Uh, it's a ram ready mount. So if you're using in-cab electronics, uh, the ram mounts, the arms, they bolt right up to here and uh, you can get your electronics mounted nice and simply. A couple options you couldn't see from inside the cab. Uh, right on the door here we've got an aluminum kick plate. This part of the door really takes a beat and it's a nice option. I think it's about seven dollars. Uh, also in here you can see we've got the heated seat. Uh, you've got all the settings on it. Uh, drivers love these and it you know those long long winter days they're working 14 hours uh, a little bit of extra comfort doesn't hurt anything and then also we've got a battery isolation switch here uh, located right so you forget to turn it back on before you get in the cab you don't have to climb out it's in the perfect spot you just reach down and turn it on um, 
I mentioned this before, we've got the stainless steel steps. We've got the aluminum fuel tank, aluminum cover on the DEF fluid. The tank, it's a 3,400 gallon tank. Uh, moving down here, we've got a spring-loaded chalk block holder. Uh, nice and easy to use, easy to secure the load, easy to get them out. So hopefully it, your drivers will use them. Uh, it's got rubber in the back and the front, so they're not banging around as you're driving down the road. Stainless fenders, stainless fender brackets. <coughs> we set the mud flaps back so you can't pinch them between a snowbank and tear them off. Because of that, we put a stainless spacer in here. Uh, let's head back to the deck here and we'll take a closer look at some of those options. Up top in the center, we've got the backup camera in the dead center. So again, that's tied into the reverse circuit. We'll come on in reverse and we've got the monitor mounted on the pillar right over by the passenger side mirrors so it makes it nice and easy to view. Uh, below that is the strobe light working in conjunction with the two in the headlights. Like I was saying, those roadside deliveries, no matter what direction traffic's coming in, you're going to jump out and they're going to see you. Uh, either side, we've got the work lights. Uh, two on the lower rear corners of the cab, two up top here. You turn those on for those late night deliveries. Uh, they totally illuminate all around the truck, all the work area. Uh, so your drivers can see where they're walking, where they're working. Uh, moving down here, we've got an oversized meter box. Uh, you do any repairs, maintenance, clean the strainer, whatever you need to do without taking the meter box off. We've got a lot of extra room in here, so we also put a shelf in here. Keep your gloves, fittings you use on a daily basis, anything like that. Again, just trying to help your driver stay organized. Uh, over on the side here, we've got a, a bottle holder for leak detection soap. Uh, we see a lot of times in the summer months, drivers, uh, they use it for bee killer. Uh, so it keeps it nice and handy. It's a good spot to store it. Uh, we've got an LC meter with an LCR2 electronic register. Two-stage preset means you want to drop 286.9 gallons. It'll drop it right on the money to the tenth every time. Uh, we store our hose and nozzle inside the box here. Keeps it clean and dry, keeps the road debris off it. Uh, a lot of times you'll see they've got, uh, it's either latched out here or you've got to thread it down to a fitting on the deck. You get to delivery, you've got to unthread it, you're done, you've got to thread it back on. And it's out on the deck. It's catching all that road debris, all the snow, all the ice, all the mud. Uh, this is easy in, easy out. Keeps it clean and dry. It's, it's a really nice way to store the hose end nozzle. Moving across, we've got a Henne hose reel with a guide master. Um, the guide master is really nice. Uh, helps, uh, helps you keep your back. Uh, so normally you would reel it in and you've got to guide that hose in with your gloves, getting all over your gloves, whatever you've dragged the hose through. Uh, with this, you're just standing at the reel and nice and easy, you're guiding it in with a guide master. It's a really nice option for your drivers. The hose itself is polished aluminum. It's spec for 250 feet of one inch hose. Comes standard with 150 feet of one inch low temp hose. We've got, uh, we over spec it because it gives you all this extra room in here. Your drivers are out, especially in the winter. They may be doing 30, 40, 50 stops a day. They're not reeling this up perfectly every time. So if you're specking it for the amount of hose you have on it, your driver has to reel it up perfectly every single time to fit it. So not only do you not have to reel it up perfectly, but because you've got the extra room, the hose isn't lopping over, getting caught between the drum and the frame, nicking the hose, shortening the hose life, rubbing against the deck, shortening the hose life. Uh, it's, it's a really nice spec, and we think your drivers will like it a lot. It makes their life a lot easier. Moving across here, we've got a lowered stainless steel deck. Uh, as you can see, everything is right within my center of gravity, within my working height whether I'm at the meter, at the reel, loading the truck. Uh, most of the trucks you'll see, they've got a prefabricated aluminum deck. Uh, they'll bolt it right on the chassis rails that are coming back from the rear axle. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice way to build it. The only problem with it is, is it raises everything up higher. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to put the truck together, but then when you're done, your fills are higher, your deck is higher, which means that all your equipment on the deck is higher. You're working way up over your center of gravity, up shoulder height all day long, reeling in the hose, uh, on the meter, loading the truck. If you'll notice as well, these fills are lowered and they're angled. A lot of times we see trucks coming in here for service, 
they've got the fills up so high the fills come straight out you know you've got to struggle to get that up there it's got to be up straight so the acnes line up it's a job especially in the winter when that two inch hose has almost no flex to it if you notice the angle and height here you just put the hose right under your arm it doesn't matter what height you are it's going to line up correctly it's going to be at the right angle the right height and you just spin the acne right on it's nice and simple uh, let's um let's take a walk to the side of the truck and check out a few more options again we've got the lowered stainless steel deck polished aluminum hose reel stainless spacer stainless fenders stainless fender brackets aluminum wheels uh, you'll see a hole in the frame rail here uh, that's so that you can see the main valve uh, as soon as your driver gets to a stop and the truck's not pumping the first thing he wants to do is see if that main valve's opening uh, you don't want them climbing under the truck that's the last place you want them with the pto on this makes it nice and simple the truck's not pumping they can come back just peek in and they'll know whether the main valve's open or not it's really a nice feature but it's a nice safety feature as well we've got the work lights on the lower rear corners of the cab stainless steps aluminum cover for the after treatment vertical exhaust stainless cover with grab handle uh, inside the chassis rails we've got an oversized pto shaft straight as an arrow uh, so it's low low maintenance a lot of times we see them come in and they're they're kinked at angles those universals are high maintenance high replacement uh, with this it's nice and true it's going to be low maintenance and last you a long time also every truck we have comes with a binder it's got drawings for everything we do and those drawings are color coded so if you look in the frame rail and you see a red pneumatic line you just look on the pneumatics drawing you know where it goes to in the back of the truck what part it's connected to where it goes to in the front of the truck what part and part number it's connected to and location uh, it's really nice for troubleshooting uh, so this truck's built it's ready to deliver gas if you have any questions give us a call 800-252-5467 we'll talk to you soon